and welcome to the Anton Shofar channel. I'm Gerald. Um, primarily, we'll be doing a short video in regards to Rick Joyner's false prophecy in regards to 2016 Super Bowl. Now, Joyner was reported even by Charisma Magazine making a statement that the Carolina Panthers would beat the Denver Broncos in the 2016 Super Bowl and it would cause a great awakening and a great revival would break out in America. Well, obviously that didn't happen. Of course, the Denver Broncos, they were very dominant against a very powerful Carolina Panthers team. Matter of fact, they won by two touchdowns. Kind of reminds me of back about 2014. Um, false apostle David E. Taylor came up with this prophecy stating that the Denver Broncos were going to beat the Seattle Seahawks in the 2014 Super Bowl. I don't know why people continue to follow these false apostles and false prophets. Like God really cares, like Yahweh really cares about a football game or a basketball game or, you know, the Lord has like a pennant or pictures of his favorite football players up there in the pearly gates, you know. Um, for people that are following Rick Joyner, you need to examine this has been a track history, him endorsing Todd Bentley, and all these other false prophecies that's taken place, and all the weird stuff that you see that's going on, these weird spiritual manifestations that you see that takes place at his church services and all. You need to start connecting the dots. And you need to realize that Jesus did state, I believe it's Matthew 24, verse 11, that many false prophets shall arise and deceive in many. So this is an end time sign that Rick Joyner is fulfilling the negative end of being a false prophet. Also, when you study him and Bob Jones, they state that uh, major prophets in these days are 85 percent accurate they said most prophets are about 65 percent accurate well the bible says that the holy spirit leads and guides us into all truth doesn't it and then also too as christians some people in the christian world are so silly and gullible instead of testing the spirits as it says in First John chapter 4 verse 1 we don't even bother testing the spirits we have more faith in our celebrity prophets versus the Word of God the Bible says that we have more sure word uh, prophecy by his word not by following individuals that you love and that you send all these donations to so we'll go ahead and take a look obviously Joyner was not correct um, Carolina Panthers did not win. Major revival hasn't broken out in the United States. It's directly related to our city, but also I think reflects on the whole nation, the U.S. especially, was that when our Carolina Panthers won the Super Bowl, that uh, this is a time when, you know, major revival, awakening, moves of God are going to break out in America. But he calls me, he says, the Black Panthers are coming to Charlotte. And um, I said, what does that mean? And he wasn't sure what it meant. And I said, sounds like an attack. And he said, well, it may be, I don't know, but they're coming to the lumber yard in Charlotte. I said, really? So anyway, I just... That's all he said. You know, I didn't have anything more, but it stuck out. Several years later, I believe that was 1988 or early 1989 when he told me that. Several years later, we get this professional football team, this NFL team. They name them the, the Panthers. Their, their Panther is a Black Panther. And they build the stadium on the old lumber yard downtown. And uh, so we knew there was a prophetic destiny to this team. And, and afterwards, Bob got many other details about this. And uh, some other people did too that I thought were remarkable and accurate how many of the ups and downs that this team would go through would be teachings for us and the ups and downs that many in the body of Christ here are going through and things like that. And, and some of them just were 
it's like some of the things that team was going through was uh, um, absolutely incredibly accurate parallel of some of the things we were going through at times. And it was a teaching force. So, you know, we uh, it kept our attention and interest. But when they went to the Super Bowl once over 10 years ago, you know, we thought this is it. We're, you know, revivals break out in America. Well, they didn't win. And listen, I'm doing this program before the Super Bowl. They haven't won it yet. And but if they do. To me, it is a very definite marker of something remarkable breaking out. This year, you know, Bob foresaw that when the Kansas City Royals won the World Series again was when this great outbreak is going to happen. And, of course, they won the World Series again this year, first time in 30 years since 1985. Well, that really got our attention. (laughs) We said, okay, now if the Panthers win this year, we know it's all hands on deck. And we are going to see the outbreak of the, I believe, the third great awakening.